Say what's up to everybody on YouTube. I have a jungle in here. You can't really see right now because it's dark and yeah, my chameleon is sleeping. But trust me, if you've ever seen PB Herman, like I've had a couple of years. impressions of Colorado, mainly Denver, and so, um, yeah, so these are just the experiences that I'm having. Um, I've been here for about a week now, today was my first day of work, and I'm staying um, on the south side, of, uh, just outside of Denver, um, Kind of like a, it's kind of, <laughs> it's not, it's not ghetto, it's just, it's kind of like, you know, you know, it's just, it's a little, I don't know, anyways, there's just a lot of kind of weirdos, but, um, I'm a weirdo too, so, I guess it's not so much, but, um, so I guess what I wanted to say is that, so, I'm having high experiences or you know I, I, I'm having experiences where like I'm high and the person across the counter where I'm trying to do something whether it's Panda Express or whether it's Walmart or uh, at the extended stay suites you know like like we're all high so something goes wrong it's just it's, it's just inevitable so when I first moved here, I was like, just like frustrated that things weren't working right the first time. So, anyways, so I realized that my frustration over these small things were affecting other people. My energy was affecting other people. And this is something that took me a, just a short week to learn, but... You know, I talked about this with my boss today that, you know, unless you're aware of that, I guess you just go ahead and live in your life. But if you're aware of how you treat people and how you react to situations, I don't know what it is about coming up here to this elevation or something, but, you know, it's there's a lot of anxiety at first, at least for me and some of the people that I spoke to, especially people who've, who've emigrated here from the Midwest. I don't even know if emigrated is the right term, but who, who cares? Who moved here from the you know, Midwest? Um, you know, there's like, a, again, there's just that initial frustration over small things not being like how they were when you left. Um, because the Midwest just does things in a fantastic fashion. Um, I just know from my point of view, like in Illinois, it, everything is expensive. It's, more, it's expensive there, but you pay for for exactly for what you get. You get what you pay for. Oh, look at this puppy. So 
you know, my neighbors. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, so everybody's very, very nice here. Uh, everybody freaking smokes weed. It's, like, crazy here. And it's totally acceptable. I mean, I literally stand on my balcony out, <laughs> out there overlooking the parking lot and I just sit there hitting my bowl like cops could drive by like I'm not even worried about it and so yeah so um I, I've been working just outside Denver and uh, Denver's a lot smaller than what I originally thought no big deal but um it's beautiful the weather here is just gorgeous I mean you know you can walk around without a shirt if you're a guy, and hopefully, you know, if you're a girl, that'd be cool. But, um, <laughs> um yeah, it, it's just, uh, the, it, the sun's a little hot. The sun is, I mean, it, it, the thing comes up at five in the morning, and it doesn't go down till nine o'clock at night, so the sun is just kicking here. And the plants are doing great. I'll have to make a video on my plants, um, especially once this other, um, Blood Good Maple. The one that I made that uh, penjing bonsai. And the last video, it, it just I had to uh, reestablish the roots because it, it wasn't producing uh, new growth. But it is. Now it is. Which is interesting. So it's just very slow. So anyways, I'm just rambling on. But hey, I, I love you guys. And you know, I just wanted to give you guys my, my first impressions of, of Denver. I know this isn't like, um, like the best video. I'm gonna make another one because I I have really haven't been downtown yet. I, I'm not in my apartment yet. Right now, I'm in um, uh, an extended stay suites un until my studio is ready. So I've just been on the outside skirts of Denver. But right now, these are just my first impressions. Uh, the traffic is shit. The lights are retarded. Um, Oh, here's my cat. I'm like, where's my cat? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a total slob. Dishes in the sink and everything. Total slob. Total, total slob. Just beer cans on the ground. Have you guys ever tried Soul? That's a good beer. So... Yeah, um, I got some other footage too, so maybe I'll combine this with some other, some other footage, so, but I don't know, you guys seem to kind of like to watch me kind of just make these videos on a whim here. The, the people, interesting. Interesting to say the least. They're just like me. <laughs> They're just like me. Just, you know, kind of odd, kind of quirky. So, anyway, so yeah, thanks for being here with me. I got some great footage and so much more stuff to show you guys. More mushroom trips to share with you guys, which you know I've been promising to share, but I've been you know holding those back because I don't want to share all of my. That was the main reason I started the channel. But um, the park, Cheeseman Park, next to my apartment complex is haunted. We can talk about that. Um, there's waterfalls. There's Bigfoot hotspots. There's horseback riding. There's so much stuff kayaking, and snowboarding, skiing, there's so much stuff I can't wait to try this year, so, anyways, I love you guys, and, uh, fuck it, man, we're, we're doing it, you know, we're not waiting for life to happen, we're making life happen, and that's what it's all about, so, I'm not waiting anymore, let's do it, so, love you guys, peace.